FPV has gotten extremely expensive, and I'm sure you've noticed that as well. And this is particularly true right now with the current tariff situation. One day the price is this, then the next day it's that. Pretty frustrating. But one company going the opposite direction is Oddity RC with their new flight controller stack coming in under $35. Yeah, you heard that right. $35 not only for the flight controller, but the ESC as well. So let's open this up and see how it looks. Okay, so here it is, the Oddity RC Vortex stack series here. And it's pretty amazing that they can actually get this package together for under $35. Pretty amazing overall. So first thing here is a QR code to get to the user manual. We'll take a look at this a little bit later. And we said that we have this stack right here. We have the actual ESC, pretty cool. And the actual flight controller right here. Besides that we have a bag here with some accessories, some gummies, tons of gummies, some nuts, a large capacitor in here, and then the actual harness or wire to go from the flight controller to the ESC. Pretty standard for most flight controller. All right, last but not least, we have the battery leads here. We have two connectors on here, one with the XT60 and another one with the XT30 connector. And this makes sense because this is a very versatile stack, very small and lightweight. And it's good between three and six S batteries. So it makes sense why we have an XT60 connector on here. Now there is also an 8S version as well, but you do have to make that request with RTRC to get that version. All right, so let's get this flight control and ESC out of the bags and take a closer look at them. All right, so here we are, the flight controller and ESC here. Let's start off with the flight controller. Pretty nice overall. This thing is very, very small and light. Let's just wait to see how much this here weighs since that might be a major concern for most people. And let's see here, 6.56 grams for the flight controller. So six and a half grams. And the ESC is around eight. 0.35 grams now together obviously it's a stack you have to use them together looking at 14.8 grams now all the other accessories here are kind of optional depending on your specific build whether you want to go xt 30 or 60 whether you want to use the capacitor or not these can vary in weight all right so this thing here is really really nice overall the first thing i noticed about this flight controller here are these large pads and that's always crucial for any flight controller especially one that's uh, considered a mini flight controller. It's a little bit smaller. And as you can see, we have the holes here for the actual mounting. These are 20 by 20 mounting holes, which is really versatile. This thing can fit in numerous drones. And the same is true for the actual ESC here. Now with these pads, these things are labeled very, very well. Uh, some manufacturers just have the pads on here to refer to like a Y and diagram, but they're clearly labeled on this flight controller, making it very legible and uh, easy for setup and for soldering on here. Now talking about the pads, these are actually your pads to interface with your drone, whether it be peripherals, like say receivers, VTXs, and we do have five yards on this small flight controller here. Pretty impressive based on this size right here. Now in the center here, you have the main chip on here, this is the F45 processor, which is pretty much standard in the industry for right now and we wouldn't expect anything less than that. Now we said that we do have the USB-C cable here to interact with your computer for flashing or to update the settings on the flight controller. We said that we also have a boot button talking about this USB-C here if you wanna flash the latest beta flight firmware here. Now talking about that, it does come with beta flight on here, but this can also be flashed with INAP as well. So pretty impressive overall. We said that we do have the actual barometer in here. You can see a little pinhole in here. Now, I know a lot of guys are curious about the gyros on flight controls. Not that it really matters, but this one has the ICM42688P on here, if that means anything to you. Now, I know in the past we had different types of gyros that were very, very clean. Um, with the tuning software, beta flights, it really doesn't really matter what gyro is on here. Uh, this one is being powered individually, but I'm sure more of the interference comes from how you mount this and the drone itself. So. Uh, I'm sure this should work pretty well, but we'll see how it performs once we install this in a drone. Now coming to the other side, we do have some more components, including some more UARTs on here. Pretty same size as the top UARTs on here. And we do have two BECs on here. Now one is good for nine volt, while the other is good for five volts. They're both good for around two amps of output. So that should be more than adequate for any accessories like VTX or receivers. Besides that we have the plug here for the ESC. And finally, we do have a built-in memory on this board here, which is good for data logging. Or if you wanna stabilize your footage in Gyroflow, you can actually download that to the built-in memory on this flight controller. Besides that, it looks pretty cool. Now, one thing that I noticed here about this 
flight controller overall look like all the components are on here pretty well very nice and tidy no blobbed or pretty bad soldering it looks like a quality piece here overall based upon my naked eye right here all right let's move on to the esc and this thing looks just as good probably even better as far as quality uh to the naked eye compared to the flight control the quality looks really nice on here and the first thing that jumps out are these large fets on here giving me the power and this will determine how durable this is overall now this one here is rated around 40 amps which is pretty impressive for a stack of this size that means you could fit this into drones maybe between three and maybe six or even eight s which I said before is available. Now this one here is three to six S, but if you do want to power your drone with eight S batteries, you might want to order the specialized one here from Oddity RC. Now talking about the output of this ESC, it is flashed with the AM32 firmware in here. Now we know that BL Heli 32 is no longer available for flight controllers and ESC stacks. And this is the next best thing providing you with all those similar features like filtering. Uh, in that firmware here. Now, besides that you do have your two power leads or pads right here for your power leads. They are of decent size and you do have the pinholes here for the actual capacitor. Below here you have your connection here or your port to connect your flight control to the ESC, which is standard on most flight controller. And on the back here, you have all the pads here for the motors. Very interesting design. The pads are also very large as well. And these are labeled by numbers of motors. So you have motor one, two, three, and four right here. Besides that if this plug were to get damaged, I'm happy to see that you also have the pads here for your ESC. In case this is maybe too short, you can actually just hardwire it to the ESC. But overall, this board here looks really, really nice. I, I don't know how Oddity RC is pulling this off. I know there's some other competitors on the market with some inexpensive boards, but not at this price, under $35 for a whole stack with accessories. I think it's a step in the right direction, guys. And if this thing here performs well, this might be the bargain of the century overall. So what do you guys think about this Oddity RC stack, this mini stack here? It looks pretty good. It's very lightweight. The performance from the ESC, as far as the statistics, at least on paper, is pretty impressive. And you have all the features of a modern flight controller right here. It's a trend in the right direction. Hopefully other manufacturers follow suit and then we can get these prices back down to a more uh, reasonable level, guys. Now, if you want any more information on this, I'll leave it linked down below so you can see it. Now, as far as me, what are my plans for this? Well, currently I don't have a free frame to actually install this in, but once I get a new frame in, I'll probably install this ticket for a flight, slap a VTX in there and see how this thing here performs. So if you wanna see that video, hit that subscribe button, therefore you'll be notified whenever I do drop that video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.